What's going on YouTube? Big Mex is in the house and today I have a special uh, request. I am a huge fisherman. You guys who have been following me from the beginning know that I do a lot of fishing and uh, with all the stuff going on these days I'm by no means am I a prepper. Uh, but I started getting some stuff ready just to be on the safe side and I created what is what I consider to be my ultimate fishing kit so it's part of my get home bag or my bug out bag whatever you want to call it i just have a bag that i just carry with a few essentials that you know in case i need it i can get it and take off uh normally i have it with me all the time either with me in my truck or uh, on my person but it's always with me so uh, but this is part of the kit and i absolutely love it I got this kit in, or not the kit, I got the tackle box in uh, the mail yesterday, I believe. I ordered it through Amazon, and I'll show you here in a sec, but I absolutely love it, and I'm going to go through it with you guys. So, uh, I'll show you a couple pictures of it first, and then I'll go through it with you. All right, so this is my ultimate fishing kit. Uh, I guess you can call it a survival kit, but for me, no, it's not really a survival kit. This is a, the part of a survival kit, which is my fishing kit. And I absolutely love this. I just got this uh, tackle box in the mail. It's, I got it from Amazon. Don't get me lying to you, but I'm gonna try to pronounce it. Jing Pin Liao Ju. It's a fishing tackle box. Uh, again, I got it from Amazon. Uh, wasn't a lot of money. It was like 12 or 14 bucks, something like that. But I love it. I'm able to put a whole lot of stuff in this little box. It's a little under 8 inches long. About 4 inches wide. And about two inches four yeah four inches wide and about two inches uh, height so this is it let me show you what i've got so it's nice little just you know clip that's big it's got rubber so it doesn't slide around you know on both sides top bottom it's sealed it's waterproof supposedly it's waterproof so uh, I still wouldn't trust it, but that's just me. It's got a nice seal to where it can be. Uh, but this thing is packed. I mean, packed to the gills. No pun intended. Actually, it is. But anyways, let me show you all I have. I, so, in here, I've got a bunch of different little weights. Snap weights and little bitty teardrop weights. I've got the little rings in here for uh, lures or anything like that. They're kind of like a little key ring, but itty bitty. I've got very, very small uh, swivels, some good size swivels. So this this little right here, I, so you can see the beads, the fishing beads. So to help keep from knots and the weight hitting the knots. Uh, but this line, fishing line right here, is 40 pound test braid. And I have probably close to about 200 feet of that in here. And about 200 feet, if not more, of 80 pound test. Now I know you're probably gonna think that that's a whole lot, but if I'm out and about, I can use this, you know, fishing string for, you know, cordage on other stuff, tying stuff up and whatnot. So, uh, it comes in handy and it's my kit that I put together so anyways and in here I've got a couple of these little lures and I'll open it here in a little sec but then I've got very small hooks right here and a variety of bigger hooks 
And when I say bigger hooks, I've, I've got a couple of really big circle hooks, triple threat from uh, Whisker Seeker. I love that company, Catfish uh, Company. And I've got some other ones, uh, some other hooks also in there. So a good variety of different sizes hooks. Uh, but yeah, I've got some jigs, a couple jigs in there. So in on this bottom part, you're gonna love this. So I opened this side up because it's easier to get to this side than this side because they're all small little pieces. But on this side, so it just opens up little snap right here, snaps closed. So here, I've got obviously some little, you know, teaser tail worms, whatnot. Same thing right here, but with a little spinner type deal. Got another weighted type lure, kind of shad type looking color. Now in this other one, I've got the little Olight, the Olight uh, 3UV. It's great, you know, you just twist it and it turns on. So it's one AAA battery. So I've got that in here. I've got the Gerber Mini, uh, the Gerber Dime. I really love this thing. I mean, it's just itty bitty thingy. You know, the spring. So it's got that so you can help take hooks out. Get this back in. Get this up. It's brand new, so it's a little stiff, but you got your little screwdriver, little file type deal. This side, you got your scissors. Then on this side, this is kind of nifty. It's a little blade, so it's kind of like a box cutter type deal. Not really sure, I've never seen that before, uh, but it's pretty cool. It, I can see it coming in handy when you're trying to open up boxes or, or something like that. So, and then your regular blade on this side. So, there's very sharp already. So, uh, then a bottle opener right here. So, I've got that in here as well. And then, I won't take them all out, but I've got quite a few just scalpel blades. I've got like five or six scalpel blades. They're 60A blades. So in case I do need, you know, I can't get to the knife or something in here, that's in here. And it fits just perfectly in there. So I love it. In here, I've got another teaser tail type deal. I've got a jig head, which I've got a couple jig heads on the other side as well. I got a tri hook. You know, those always come in handy. Then I've got these little floats, and I've got two of these little ones, you know, peg floats. And then I've got this one that has a little weight on it. So that's always nice to have. And then on this other side, I have, I had to stick it in here, but wire leader. So there's two of them in here, just in case I do have uh, ability. And for you guys who are thinking that this is way too much, I live in Texas and I am surrounded by water. I literally live a mile from the river and a mile from a lake. And then there's so many things in between, ponds and stock tanks and whatnot, whatever you want to call them, lagoons. But everywhere I go, there's water. So, and the ocean as well. So I always want to be able to have steel leader because believe it or not, we do have alligator gar here and alligator. So a steel leader is very nice to have. And some of the fish can actually just cut the, the braid line or monofilament very, very quickly and easily. So steel leader is very nice. And then here I've got some bigger weights, just heavier weights. And then I've got for my Olight flashlight, just three extra AAA batteries. So this Olight only takes one AAA battery, so I've got plenty of extra batteries for that. So, but that's that's my, my kit, and I love it. You know, it's gonna go with me just about everywhere I go. 
So I've got a bag that I, that I take everywhere with me. And so I'm always near that bag. If I'm at uh, the gym, it's with me. If I'm going to the store, it's always in my truck. So it's always near me. If I can take it into the store with me, then it goes with me. But there's a lot of places where I'm not too comfortable because people are just, yeah, anyways. So I don't take it everywhere, but it's always within uh, 50 to 100 yards of me. So uh, let me know what you think about it. All right, so again, uh, let me know what you thought about the my kit. Do I need to add anything? Do I need to take anything away that you think of? I don't think I need to take anything away, but I, cause I enjoy it. Like I said, I'm a, around water all the time. So if you notice anything that I need to add to it, I can always add something to it. Cause I, like I said, I just put it in my bag and I carry it with me. So yeah, just let me know in the comments and uh, see what we can do. All right, I'll see if I can add to it or, or whatnot. So y'all have a good one. I'll catch you guys later.